Hi, Dilo Nation. Welcome back to another video. guys so I am finally coming at you guys with a natural hair care routine for your kids I'm constantly getting asked all the time what do you use for Lila's hair every single girl right has their holy grail hair routine right the one that you will never change the one that works for you it fits well Lila is the exact same way she has one that fits that works for her I love it She's learning to love it. She doesn't love getting her hair done at all. But if you would like to see her holy grail natural hair routine, just let me know down in the comments and I'll do a whole nother video featuring those hair products. And guys, I do have a special nighttime routine that I do with her, so if you'd like to see that as well, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video on it. Um, it's perfect because, like I said, she has so much curly hair. So there's a lot of things that I have to do at nighttime so that in the morning, we're not racking through those curls. So if you would like to see that routine, let me know down below. But today, I happen to be in my local Sally Beauty place and I found my black is beautiful. So now I got the whole line. <laughs> I am so excited because now I get to show you guys using these products exactly what I do for Lila's hair. And I'm so excited because today we're gonna give it a try. It smells so good, guys. It's a mix between like fruity and kind of like a little bit of like cologne. Like it has like that like masculine kind of like tinge to it. The only thing that I will say off the back as a mom dealing with these products, they each retail for about $12 each. So the entire line at Sally's right now is $12 each, which isn't so bad, but I know a lot of her Holy Grail products are around like maybe seven to ten dollars, and that's just for the shampoo and conditioner, and they are a lot bigger than this. So just keep that in mind, moms, when you are picking out a shampoo, just it's twelve dollars, which it's a pretty good size. Um, these are the shampoo is 9.63 fluid ounces, and the conditioner is 8.4 fluid ounces. I just personally think that for $12, this bottle is a little small, but I don't know, maybe a little will go a long way, which is good. Like I said, it never hurts to try something new. I was also able to get my hands on the Intense Recovery Treatment, and this one, again, has no sulfates, no parabens. And this one is just like that deep conditioner that we all need. Um, and as far as Lila goes, I deep condition her hair every week. Um, so if it's Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, one of those days we're doing a deep conditioning hair routine at home. And what I just do is I put this on her hair and I just sit her under a shower cap and that's it. I let her go play, I let her go run. She'll keep the shower cap on her head. I set a little timer and then we rinse it out. So, so after that, for your last product, I got the Tangle Slayer Conditioning Cream, and this is for curls number three. It actually comes, guys, in curl three and curl four. So for those of you ladies who have like a little bit of a kinkier texture, like more of a coily texture, um, the curl four might be best for you. We do curl three just because my curls are a little bit looser and Lila's curls are, are a little bit looser. You can bounce them, but I stick to the three. Guys, if you'd like to see the rest of this hair care routine, please stay tuned. And before we get started in this video, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. For those of you who have already 
subscribe to our channel. We can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for all your consistent love and support. We love reading the comments. We love seeing the notifications. So thank you guys, and please keep them coming. And ladies, if you would like more mom hacks, more tips for toddlers and things like that, make sure you subscribe. I have so many of those type of videos coming up soon, so make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, let's get started on this video. All right, guys, so before we get started washing her hair, I always like to make sure that I have her favorite music on. So what I do is I tell Google or your Alexa to play music, and that way all of her favorite songs are playing on a loop, and we never have to worry about music going off. This tends to make her a lot happier while getting her hair washed. Next guys, I'm just going to grab a normal plastic cup and I'm going to fill that with water and pour that all over Lila's hair to make sure that all of her hair is fully saturated. And you can get and use any plastic cup that you want. Um, I just got this one right from the dollar store and she does not like this part guys so just bear with us. After her hair is fully saturated with water, all that I do is grab my shampoo I put about a dime size amount in my hand and I make sure to fold cover all of her hair with the shampoo. And during this process, I like to give her kind of like a little massage on her scalp, something to kind of just make her a little bit more happy and more compliant with her hair being washed. While using the shampoo, there were a couple things that I wanted to point out that I noticed. In order to get her hair to lather the way that it did, I did need to use two pumps of the shampoo. So it does seem like I had to use a lot of the shampoo. So just something to consider, once again we were talking about the size of the bottle. Now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to rinse out her hair using that exact same cup that we used in the beginning. While rinsing out the shampoo, I did also notice her hair felt a lot rougher by feel. And this could just be from the shampoo fully cleansing her hair and removing those oils and dirts from her hair. Following her shampoo, I just wanted to give you a close-up of her curly texture. You can tell that she has a looser wave, but she does still have those spirals. And although the shampoo made her hair by touch feel a little bit rougher, I didn't feel like her curls lost any value of moisture whatsoever. Next, I'm going to go in with the conditioner, and guys, this time I'm going to start off using a little bit more than before, so instead of a dime size amount, I put maybe about two, maybe one quarter amount in my palm, and I'm going to start with her ends, and I'm going to work my way up to her scalp. Really making sure to fully saturate her hair with all of the condi conditioner. And I'm also going to give her a little bit of a scalp massage to really make sure that her scalp is just as conditioned as well. While the conditioner is still in her hair, I'm just going to part her hair down the middle. And no reason to be neat here, I'm just guiding my pinky down the middle of her hair as if I was going to give her two ponytails on each side. Next, I'm just going to put the one side up using a clip. And you can use any clip that you would like. I just got these from Sally's and I find that they work pretty well. Next, I'm going to take the other side of her hair and I'm going to detangle. And I'm just going to use my tangle teaser to detangle her hair. 
I find that this brush helps detangle her hair without giving a lot of pull. And I'm just going to start at the ends of her hair and work my way up to her scalp. Next guys, I just wanted to show you a little bit more of her curl pattern. Using the tangle teaser to detangle really brings out her curls. After using the tangle teaser, her hair has a lot more bounce to her curls. I really love how it elongates her curls and really gives her that extra oomph. After I detangle, I like to just put this one side up into a little twist and I'm going to secure that with a clip. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Once each side is detangled, I'm just going to remove the clips and rinse each side. By detangling each side separately, you really get a chance to knock out all those tangles and I find that she's a lot happier when we're rinsing because all the tangles are gone. The last step before styling is using the Intense Recovery Treatment. I'm going to use about a quarter size in the palm of my hands to really work that all over her hair. Next, I'm just going to take your generic shower cap and I'm gonna cover all of her hair and place it inside the shower cap. Now I'm gonna set a timer for about 20 minutes to really let that treatment soak up into her hair and really moisturize every single strand. As I've said before, we deep condition every week. When the timer sounds, now we are going to go back to the sink and rinse her hair out. For styling, I always like to make sure I have her favorite books nearby. You can use an iPad or any other toy or book that your child loves to play with. Now I'm going to section her hair into two parts. Again, don't worry about neatness, it doesn't really matter here. And I'm going to secure the top section with a clip that we used from earlier. Next, I'm going to fully saturate each part of her hair using the Tangle Slayer Conditioning Cream.
Once her hair is fully saturated, feel free to style as you please. I'm just going to use this red hairband that she loves and place it on the top of her head. Welcome back to the bam. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is her finished product. I think her hair came out very well. I will say the product is very nice, but like I said earlier, for the price you did get a little bottle, so I would like for you guys to keep that in, con into consideration. Um, her hair definitely requires a lot of product because she is so much. So I had to use a lot of pumps just to cover the majority of her hair. So for a family like us, one of those bottles would go very, very quickly. Keep that in mind if you guys are in a similar situation. Lila, do you like your hair? Yeah. I like it. You wanna sing our song? Is that what you're singing? Ready? I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. I will always love you. Bye, Bye, guys.